If you like editing slowly, then don't watch this video because the things that you're gonna learn in this will help you to speed through edits so you can move on to doing what you like doing, which I assume what, is watching like Love Island or kidding, none of you probably watch that. And if you do, whatever, it's your life, you can do what you want. We're gonna go over the basics really quickly and then hop into the advanced stuff, but don't skip this because you may actually not know some of these basic keys and functions. So to bring up your blade tool in Final Cut Pro, we press the B key. When you click your mouse or your trackpad, it then makes a cut in your media so you can select and delete. And something that you may not know is if you have your select tool up, which is just your standard cursor, which you can find either by going to this drop down menu and hitting select or pressing the shortcut A. If you select the cuts that you made, say you don't like this cut anymore, it's unnecessary, you can just press the delete key, and it essentially mends your clips so those cuts go away. A useful little pro tip is if you only want to temporarily bring up a tool. So say we want to just bring up the blade tool to make some cuts in this clip, but we want it to immediately switch back to our select tool so we can select different things and so on. Just hold and press that B key so you can bring up the blade tool, make the cuts, and when you let go, it'll switch back to your select tool. So once again, it's just holding that key, making the cuts and letting go. Now an even better way to make cuts in Final Cut Pro is by pressing the shortcut Command B. This makes an immediate cut without having to switch to your blade tool. Now if you've watched my custom keyboard shortcut video, which you guys really liked, if you just press the B key, which we set up in that video, you can then make cuts. So a better way to do it, I'll leave that video in the description and in the comments. But what if you have multiple layers of media that you wanna cut? It's probably not practical to go and press Command B, Command B, and Command B. So the better option is to just select that media and then hit Command B and that will make a cut through all of the layers. But an even cooler trick is if you wanna cut through everything, basically having your playhead or your skimmer, which is this thing that's moving, be like a death scythe going through all of your media. You don't even have to select anything, you just press Shift, Command, and B and it'll cut through everything like it's Moses parting the sea or Michael Myers slashing so that's a that's a crazy side by side forget i said that and uh, just remember it is shift command b and it cuts through everything if you select the end of your clip of your media and you press the comma or the period key you can extend your clip or reduce your clip by a single frame and then if you hold shift i believe it is 10 frames so this is a nice way to just fine tune how long a clip is. Let's say you don't want the beginning part of your clip here. Typically, someone who doesn't know better might press Command B to make an immediate cut and then delete that first section. That's one too many steps. That's really gonna slow you down. Another person might think, well, I'll just take the edge of this and then just trim it to the playhead. The better way is to just press the shortcut Option and left bracket and it will snap to your playhead, so it'll cut the beginning part of your clip. Let's say you don't like the end of the clip, so you don't like this section right here, you would press Option and right bracket, and that's going to take away or delete all of the footage that was to the right of the playhead or the skimmer. What do you do if you put down a clip and you're like, eh, I actually just like this middle part? Most of you, I assume, would take the beginning part, drag it until you want that in point, and drag the out point, until you find that selection that you like. But what if I told you that there's a quicker way to do this? And that is by holding R to just temporarily bring up that range tool, make a selection of the area that you like. So everything in this range selection is what I want to be shown on the timeline in the video. And then you just hit option and forward slash. And notice how that completely eliminates everything to the left of the range and everything to the right of the range that you selected. So as an example, if you just like, if you just want this part of this river sound effect here, you would just hold the R key to bring up the range tool. So we just hit option and forward slash and bada bing, bada boom, we got that sound effect 
cut up nice and neat, although it doesn't adjust the crossfades, so then you would have to go in and tweak those. But it's just a quick way to go ahead and delete everything to the left and the right. If you like how everything is positioned on your timeline, you like the duration of this clip, you just don't really like the media that's shown. You think there's a better part towards the end of the clip. You don't have to go into your library browser to get it. Just bring up the trim tool, so press T, and then just slide. So if you want to go to the end of that shot, just slide and it changes the media that's shown, but not the position of the clip or the duration. So it keeps everything intact underneath. Let's say it's the opposite for you. So you like the media that's being shown in the clip, but you don't really like the position of it on your timeline. You kind of wish it was a little bit earlier. What you can do is bring up the trim tool by pressing T and hold option and slide to the left or the right. This changes the position of this clip on your timeline, but it doesn't change the media that's in it. It will adjust the surrounding clips. So you notice this clip got shorter and this clip got a little bit longer. So the start of it is shown more, but it doesn't adjust the duration of this clip or the media. Let's say you decide that you don't want this clip anymore on the timeline, but you don't want to delete it because you think it'll mess up your music or the position of your sound effects underneath and so on. What you can do is just select it and press shift while pressing delete and that's gonna leave a gap clip to hold the position of your timeline. And then whenever you wanna replace that gap clip with a part of a clip that you like, just select that part of that clip, replace from start, and that snaps it back into the primary storyline. You may find this next one really useful. I don't use it that much, but if you want all these clips to be the same duration, maybe you're trying to cut to the beat, just press Control D, and then type in the time, the duration that you want each clip to be. So let's say I want the clips to be five seconds long. I would type in 500 and then hit enter. And now all of these clips are the same duration. They're all five seconds long. If this helped you out, do me a huge favor, hit that like button and subscribe down below because I post videos weekly about Final Cut Pro. And make sure you give this video a watch because I promise you, you will be editing so much faster when you set these keys up. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.